I was not expecting that. Hi patrons. Hi friends. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're starting season four of Better Call Saul. I'm so excited. Uh, this one is at season four, episode one, and it's called Smoke. If you have not watched last episode with me, please click up here and watch that one first and then come back and finish watching this one with me, please. Um, the way that uh, <laughs> season three ended, I, I cannot wait to see what happens. Um, the way that it ended with Chuck, and the way that it ended with um, Hector, and Nacho doing what he did. And oh my God, I don't know. I, I just need to know what happens. So we're not gonna waste any time today. Grab your coffee, your water, your snacks, your tea. Um, and let's do this because I just need to know what happened. So I don't wanna wait, let's go. Better call Saul, smoke. Oh, we're starting with in black and white again. I love when we start in black and white. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot he fainted. Shoot. It was so long ago, I forgot about it. What did that say? Jean Taka something? Oh, sorry if you hear my cat meowing in the background. <laughs> I had to put him in the bedroom because he was like being netso out here, tearing it up, tearing it up. I was like, I can't have you jumping and running and tearing stuff up when I'm trying to record. So he's in the bedroom for 45 minutes. He'll live. Takovic. Takovic. Stress. I'm assuming. Here looks good. Your blood pressure is a little high, but that's understandable under the circumstances. Gene Takovic. Interesting name. Can I have another look at your driver's license? Some reason this computer keeps kicking us back. Uh oh. Can I have your social security number again? Uh oh. Okay, that's five three one oh oh eight seven one four. Mm-hmm. I've never seen this before. What? Oh, wait. I typed the letter O instead oh of a zero. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's going through now. Jesus so Christ, crazy. lady. They're going to actually give him a heart attack. I'm sorry for keeping you. Get your license. Oh, your license. Mm -hmm. Don't forget this. Yes, I'm drinking my coffee through a straw today. Stay Don't warm. you judge me. You too. <laughs> it's because of my lip gloss. Cottonwood Mall, please. Did he say Cottonwood Mall? I'm sure that's a common mall name, but there's actually a Cottonwood Mall in Albuquerque, just FYI. So that could be a nod to Albuquerque. <laughs> mm, he has an isotopes. Sign? Who is that? That's kind of weird. <laughs> get out, get out, get out. It's, it's a green light. Do they know who he is? Uh, you know what? I'll just yeah, get out. Yeah, I would just here. get out. 
Because why would you have an Albuquerque Isotopes sign when you live in Nebraska? That doesn't make sense. Now I'm paranoid. I'm like, why would he have a sign? Jimmy, I mean, Saul, I mean, Gene. Whatever the hell your name is. Be careful. Don't go to your house. That was making me nervous. All right, I need to know if Chuck's okay. That's really cool how they did that. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool how they had like the burning debris floating towards Jimmy. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. Coffee. Mm. Howard. Mm, he's calling about Chuck, I'm sure. It's Howard. Let it go. If it's important, they'll leave a message. Uh, Kim. It's Howard. I'm trying to reach Jimmy. I really need to talk to him. It's Oh boy. Oh, here we go. I hope Chuck's okay. Jimmy, don't. The coroner? Oh. Wait, did he die? He didn't die, did he? He says it started in the living room. Just tell Somehow me he's dead. The entrance was knocked over. The inspector says it was over fast. Oh Smoking my gosh, he did so die. He suffer. Oh my god. I can't believe they killed Chuck. I was not I was not expecting that. I thought that he would I don't know. I just wasn't expecting that. No one make him. five days ago. He was listening to jazz. I was just expecting him to get hurt himself. or something. Something must have happened. Something made him relapse. Yeah. Howard. I didn't see that coming. I don't know. I <laughs> Maybe I should have with the way that... It Season three ended, but I really didn't think they were going to kill him off. I really did not think they were going to kill him off. I thought he had more of a role to play. Ugh. That's so fucking sad. Poor Chuck. Oh my God. There you go. So is it, huh? Yeah. Oh, he's quitting. Take care, Mike. <sighs> Chuck was a fucking asshole sometimes, but I didn't want him to die. Aww. She's so cute. Is that the <laughs> you made? Yeah. Well, yeah. I can pick her up the rest of the week if you want. 
Well, since you're offering. Uh, good. Thanks, Mike. Oh, is that his paycheck? Nice. <laughs> I still can't believe Chuck is dead. That would explain why he's not in Breaking Bad. I just always thought it was like something that broke them apart forever, you know, and they just didn't have a relationship anymore. I didn't. Th I didn't even think about Chuck dying. It's Howard. I think you should talk to him. Wanted to get Chuck's obituary into the paper before the service, but I'd really like to run it by you. If that's okay. Charles Lindbergh McGill, <sighs> a towering figure in the Albuquerque legal community, who built one of the leading law firms in the Southwest. Charles graduated valedictorian from Francis Xavier High School at the age of 14. Making him the youngest graduate in the history of that school. <sighs> Charles joined George Hamlin's solo practice on Central Avenue in downtown Albuquerque. <sighs> Over the course of 23 years, the two men built what became known as Hamlin, Hamlin McGill into a nationally recognized firm. Charles was also active in the community, championing education for the underserved. He was on the boards of many New Mexico charities and founding <sighs> Too much. It's too much for him right now. I know it's not technically Howard's fault, but he... Then there's information about the memorial service, the date, the time, and all he that. He pushed him over the edge. He pushed him over the edge with what he did to him. Jimmy. It's me, Howard. Sounds good. He likes it. How you should go ahead with it. Well, all right. Jimmy just needs to cry. He just needs to like let it all out. Don't hold it in. Oh. Hi, Oreo. Did they drink that whole bottle? Does he have a history of cardiac issues? Oh, yeah. here we go. And was he taking any medications? He took these. See? We're headed to Gus frickin' knows. I'm telling you, he knows. What is that? What was that? Always oh, gonna try to put the pills back in front of Gus. Oh, we're always gonna dump them. Juan Bosa wants to see you. We better get rid of those damn things. You drive. Right now? Oh no, he still has the pills on him. Oh my god, I can't. I can't take something happening not to Nacho after after just finding out about Chuck. Nacho, please get rid of those. Oh my god. He must be shitting his fucking pants right now. Oh, Nacho, I hope you're okay. Like, why do they want to talk to him? They must suspect something. Ser compadre de Tuco. Es buena onda. El compadre de Tuco. Ignacio. El territorio de Salamanca. Acá se queda el territorio de Salamanca. Nada cambia. Okay. La recogen, la empaquetan, la distribuyen. Okay. ¿Qué piensas? Alguien se movará contra los salamancas. Lo que trae. <sighs> lo que trae. 
la dea. Mm. Which brings Hank. <laughs> God. I honestly would love to see Hank in this show. It could be. There's people in here I didn't think I would ever see in here. So maybe he is in here. I don't know. Okay, he's getting rid of the pills. Make sure nobody's watching you, Nacho. God, I hope nobody saw him. Oh no. Did somebody see him? Oh. <sighs> Fucking fuck. Oh no. Fucking price. Is that price? Who is that? This is the last time, so watch. That's not price. Who the hell is that? Alright. I thought the frickin' car was gonna blow up when he turned it. Uh, yeah, it's Barry. Uh, listen, Barry. could you let Mr. Eglin know I'm gonna be late this morning? Hedberg. Oh. Oh, Mike took his bad. Okay, it was Mike. Okay, he should be fine. <laughs> I was like, as soon as he turns that key, is he going to fucking explode? Why did Mike take his badge, though? What is he doing? I don't know what Mike's doing, but he always he's always doing something. Always up to something. <laughs> Golf cart. I still don't know what the hell Meg is doing. Something wrong? May I ask why none of you guys are wearing a lift belt? Hmm. Oh, well, we don't usually stop what you're doing. You go to the equipment room, you get lift belts and gloves. Because <laughs> he wants to search that box, maybe? Or that order? Oh, there's what's-his-face. Uh, don't run into him, Mike. You have his badge. Hide your badge. I think this belongs to you. Oh, he's... Okay, he's playing that card. Thank you. I need to talk to your manager. I waltzed through security with someone else's ID. Nobody gives me a second look. <laughs> oh. I find access doors I left see. unlocked or propped open, passwords written on post-it notes. Mike, Mike, Mike. Who's Wait. disregarding Wait. safety? Hold on, hold on. Who are you exactly? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> security consultant. Maybe you best call corporate. Try Lydia Rodart Quayle. Oh no. This is Chuck's funeral. Oh fuck. I don't want to cry again, you guys. Okay. I've already cried twice. You will not cry. Truth. You will not cry. Thank you. All the frickin' lawyers are there. He was a hell of a lawyer. Yes, he was. What is he gonna do if he finds out that Howard is the one who basically tipped him over the edge? Is Rebecca there? Was that Rebecca in the back? Yeah, okay. 
I thought so. I wonder if he feels guilty. Is that Howard? Yep. Oh, is he gonna tell them? I don't know if I would tell them right now. I think I owe you the truth oh, about Oh God, Jack. he's gonna tell them. Those lanterns. <sighs> he's gonna tell them. He knew how to use those lanterns. Mm-hmm. He was careful. I saw it. I know you did too. There was never a problem. Mm-hmm. I don't think what happened was an accident. Mm-hmm. You probably heard Chuck was retiring from HHM. The truth is that we had a disagreement and I pushed him out. Mm-hmm. He was improving until the thing with the insurance. So it, it wasn't the bar hearing. The insurance? Oh, no. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Jimmy set that whole thing in motion. I should have just let it go. I mean, God knows he's done enough for me. Yeah, he should have. It was a... Uh, our malpractice insurance. They found out about Chuck's condition and raised our rates. I totally forgot he started that. Chuck went ballistic. <sighs> he wouldn't back down. So I forced him out. It never occurred to me that I could hurt him. I think he did what he did because of me. Well, Howard, I guess that's your cross to bear. So I'm going to make some coffee. Maybe you want some? Everyone deals with grief differently. Alrighty. All right, friends, that was the end of that episode. I, um, yeah, I was not, <laughs> I was not expecting Chuck to die. I was expecting him maybe to be hurt, um, to be in the hospital, to be saved in time. I was expecting for the house to be burnt down, but for him to have left the house before he got hurt or passed away. There was a part of me, and I, I can't remember if I said it in the last episode, that thought, oh, maybe he's going to commit suicide, but it was like a small part um, when he kicked over the lantern. I was like, I was thinking, you know, a small part of me was like, what if he's committing suicide? But mainly the other parts of me were like, he's just lost it. He's gonna kick it over and destroy everything, his house and everything, but he's not going to destroy himself. I don't know. Uh, obviously I was wrong. Or at least he would like come to his senses, you know, when he started to, to get in trouble. But yeah, I just, <laughs> I don't know. I just wasn't expecting it. I, I thought he would be, I think, I do think that's why though. I think a part of me thought he was going to be in the show for the whole six seasons. Like I just thought that their relationship was going to go separate ways and they were going to have a big falling out. And I thought that maybe the trial or the whatever, the bar hearing is what did it. But, um, and then after what Chuck said, to Jimmy, yeah, I just wasn't, uh, that caught me off guard. So, Howard did come clean. And again, although he technically wasn't responsible for Chuck's death, um, he, he's the one who pushed him to it. Not to say he's responsible, but that's, I feel, that's what, that's what, Sorry, that's what, you know, <laughs> pushed him over the edge. But I 
totally did not remember until recently, just now, that um, Jimmy is the one who messed with the insurance. Like he's the one who got that ball rolling because he was pissed off at Chuck. So he's gonna have to live with that. <clears throat> Howard's gonna have to live with what he did and he definitely seems very regretful um, on his part. I'm surprised he actually came clean so quickly. Like he said, I'm sure he wasn't thinking, oh, if I do this, he's gonna kill himself, obviously. But um, yeah, Jimmy's reaction at the end, I'm just like, is he happy because he feels like he takes no responsibility in that? Is he happy because he started the insurance thing, but then Chuck or uh, Howard was the one who literally like pushed him over the edge with it? Is he, or is he just grieving totally differently right now? Like some people do, everybody grieves differently. So, um, I honestly think Jimmy needs to cry. I don't know. He needs to get it out. He hasn't cried yet. At least that we've seen. He's like numb. Not in denial, but I feel like he's numb. You know what I mean? As for Nacho, I knew somebody was going to find out. I knew it because I know Gus already suspected. He already suspected for sure. So he had his guys, his guy follow Nacho, and now they saw him throw the pills in the water. So now I'm really worried about, about Nacho. Oh boy, what a mess, what a mess, what a mess. I, I just hope Gus doesn't hurt Nacho, but I feel like that's kind of the way that it's going. Which really sucks. Cause like I said, I really like Nacho. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm still a little shocked by Chuck's death. So I can't think of all my thoughts right now, y'all. But um, anyway, I did definitely enjoy the episode. What a way to start season four. Holy crap. Um, and that is it, my friends. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and have an amazing rest of your day. If you would like to watch all of these with me in full, including the other shows I'm watching and Patreon only shows, click right down here and go check out my Patreon. Really appreciate it. And um, please make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. That definitely helps me out as well. All right, friends, that is it. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day or night. Bye, friends. See you next time.